In this video, I'm going to take you through a full Coinbase Pro tutorial. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Coinbase, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. It's been about a year or so since my last Coinbase Pro tutorial, so I thought I'd take you through an update as there have been some changes around things like fees. And during the tutorial, I'll take you all the way through from depositing your funds to buying your first Bitcoin with a market or a limit order, how to sell, and then finally how to withdraw from the platform. And I'll pop a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of the tutorial if you just want to concentrate on certain features. Coinbase Pro, which is part of the Coinbase product set, is a trading platform offering users the ability to buy, sell, and trade a large variety of digital assets. You can also track the market, view trading history, and monitor open orders. Plus, one of the great benefits to using Coinbase Pro is that you can submit a buy order and then just wait for the market to reach a price that you want to pay, rather than having to just take the current market value. Another benefit of using Coinbase Pro over the likes of Coinbase are the fees. And that's when you're buying or selling your crypto. Over on Coinbase, you'll be paying about 1.49 all the way up to 3.99%. However, with Coinbase Pro, these start at 0.5%, although these were previously lower. So there are some great savings to be had by learning how to use Coinbase Pro. And I've actually got separate tutorials for Coinbase and the Coinbase wallet for storing cryptocurrency if you're interested in finding out more about the Coinbase products. If you do already have a Coinbase account, you don't have to create separate accounts or logins, and your two-factor authentication settings will be dictated by those set in your Coinbase account. If you don't already have an account, they do have a sign-up offer of $10 of free Bitcoin if you use my link in the summary below. So the first thing we'll do is head over to pro.coinbase.com and then go across to login. And we'll need to deposit some funds so we can start trading. And there are two different ways that you can do that. You can either click on to deposit on the trading screen here. Or if you head over to portfolios, you can also click on to deposit here. It will then ask you the type of currency that you'll be depositing. And I'm from the UK, so I'm going to select GBP. However, you can select from the likes of euros, different cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum or XRP. But as I said, I'm going to select British pounds. Now I'll quickly take you through the Coinbase fees so that you have an idea of what you may be paying here. Now, because I'm from the UK and depositing GBP, my deposit fee is free. However, if you're depositing the likes of euros, you'll be paying 15 cents or $10 for US dollar wires. And there are a couple of different ways that you can transfer your UK funds. So if you're sending via UK bank transfer, you'll need to send your funds to the information shown up on screen. And just ensure that you do include that reference number shown up on your screen, and that's so that you can map together your bank account and your Coinbase Pro account. And they state that the funds will typically appear within one business day once you've initiated it from your bank. You then have UK Swift transfer, and that's where funds will typically arrive between one to three business days. Plus, there's also a minimum deposit of a thousand pounds. Alternatively, if you have funds over on Coinbase.com, transferring is free and instant. Now, I personally transferred £100 into my Coinbase account, and that happened immediately. But I know that there can be some delays depending on your bank account, although I personally use Revolut and have never had any issues. So, as you can see, that £100 is showing up in my Coinbase account and then I can enter in the amount that I'd like to transfer across to Coinbase Pro. Or I can simply click onto the max button here to pull across all my available funds. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit. 
and that's gone through instantly. So let's head over to the trading screen now, which you can reach by clicking onto the trade button in the left hand side of the screen here. So let's take a little look around the screen. So first you can select your market. And we're currently in the Bitcoin and GBP market. But as you can see, there's a pretty wide range here with about 99 trading pairs available. And once you have your market selected, it will then show you the last trade price for Bitcoin and GBP here. I can see the 24 hour price change and the 24 hour volume. Under my wallet balance, I can see my available balance in GBP and in Bitcoin too, if I had one. There's some quick links to depositing and withdrawing. Next, we have what's called the order form, where you can choose to buy and sell. And I'm gonna be taking you through this step by step in a moment. It will show you the amount that you wanna be trading with and any fees at the bottom here. Next up, we have our order book. So this shows me all the sell orders in red here and all the buy orders in green below, as well as the spread, which is in between. And there's the difference between the two. We have our price charts showing us buy and sell order high and lows during certain periods of time, where we can see the latest trades. Then on the far right hand side of the screen, we have our trade history, displaying recent trade sizes for both buy and sell orders. So let's go ahead and create an order to buy some Bitcoin. So the first step we need to take is to ensure that we're in the correct market. And this is simply choosing what we'd like to buy and with what type of currency. And there's a whole host of options with Coinbase nowadays, with more constantly being added to this list. You can buy with euros from here and you can buy crypto to crypto. But in this example, we're gonna be choosing Bitcoin and GBP. I then need to ensure that I'm on that buy tab there. And then underneath that, you have three different types of orders. First of all, you have market orders. And that is where you're gonna be paying at the current market price. Next, you have limit, where you can define the price that you'd like to pay and then simply wait for the market to reach that price. Now, these are often referred to as maker or taker orders. Previously with Coinbase, this used to affect the fees that you pay, which to be honest, it still does, but really for those that are trading larger than 50,000. Otherwise, you're going to be paying 0.5% fees for taker or maker orders for trading the less than 10,000, or 0.35% for up to 50,000. So a taker is those that use that market orders tab, as you're going to be taking the current market price. And a maker is someone who defines a price that is not immediately matched by an order on the order book. In other words, you're making your own price. Then finally, you have something called a stop order, which triggers a buy or a sell order when the price hits or dips to a certain value that you define. If you want to place an order at the current market rate, simply enter in the amount that you want to buy in GBP, or you can click onto max to pull across all your available funds. It'll then display the fees that are 0.5% and the total at the bottom of the screen here. And you could go ahead now and place your buy order, and that would instantly buy that Bitcoin for you. However, if you aren't in a rush and would prefer to pay a lower price than the current market price, you can define your own price with the limit order. So if we click onto limit here and enter the amount of Bitcoin we'd like to buy, and we need to do that in Bitcoin. And as you can see, right now, hundred pounds equates to 0 0.0071 Bitcoin. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to type in 0 0.007. Then under the limit price is where we then need to enter the price that we're willing to pay for our Bitcoin. And we can manually enter in the price into this section. Or we can simply select one of the buy orders and then edit the price. Now the fees here will be roughly the same as the market order that we were gonna place, and that's because of my trading volume. I'm not a day trader, and I personally hold my cryptocurrency for the long term. But today, I'm just showing you examples of how to buy and sell 
and not how you can make X amount of profit in these trades. Then when you're happy to, you can go ahead and place your buy order. Now with a limit order, because it doesn't fill immediately, if you make a mistake, or if the market changes dramatically and you want to change the price, you can easily cancel any open trades by clicking onto the X icon on the right hand side of the screen here. And this is only whilst it's still deemed as an open order. And then you could just simply trade again. And you can also see my order appearing on the order book here. So now I just need to wait for the market to reach the price that I've defined. And the price has actually changed quite a lot since I submitted my order. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel my order and retry. And this is just for the purposes of this tutorial, as otherwise you could simply just wait for the market to reach your price. Then once your order has been filled, you will then find that under fills, or if we head across to orders, and go to filled, you'll then see my buy order. And it will show me the market that I traded within. It tells me the size, how much was filled, and what the filled price was. Now you may see that this is slightly different to what I originally inputted, and that's because I had to go back and change the price due to the fluctuations within the market. Now say for example, you've held your Bitcoin for a while and you want to cash out any profits that you've made and maybe want to sell and get some GBP back. Now in previous tutorials, people often comment on the amount of profit or loss that I've made during this trade. However, I'm purely just trying to show you the steps to sell and not how much money I make as profit. As I said, I don't actually trade or sell my crypto. I simply hold it. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll show you how to sell. So let's head back to the trade screen. And we'll need to make sure that we're in the correct market again. And again, for me, I'm going to be selling Bitcoin and I want to get GBP back. So I'm going to need to select Bitcoin to GBP. I can then see the amount of Bitcoin that I have available under my balances here. And I'll need to ensure that I'm on the sell tab. In relation to selling, the fees will be exactly the same at 0.5%. And again, we have that option to create a market order or to create a limit order. So if we were in a hurry and wanted to sell at the current market price, we select market. Then we have our limit order, so we could state that we want to sell our Bitcoin for more than the current market price, and then just simply wait for the market to reach that price. And we can type in the amount of Bitcoin that we'd like to sell, or again, we can click onto max. And we can type the price into the limit price here, or we can select one of the prices from the order book again. And you can see the fees at 50 pence in here again, and then the total amount that we'll receive. So I'm going to go ahead and place my sell order. And now, as you can see, that order's now been filled. Now, once you have your funds in Coinbase Pro, it's really recommended that you don't keep your funds on an exchange. An exchange where lots of assets are held is a far more likely target for hackers. And this is the same whether or not you're keeping Bitcoin or GBP or other currencies on here. It's far better to move them out. So let's take a look at withdrawing now. And the first thing it's going to ask me is what type of funds I'm going to be withdrawing. Now, if you still have your Bitcoin and you didn't sell it, this is where you can withdraw these to the safety of a wallet, such as a hardware wallet, like a ledger or a Trezor. And these two different wallets are definitely ones that I would recommend. They've also got some great deals at the moment, and I'll pop some links to them on the summary below. And you then simply follow the steps shown on screen and send your Bitcoin across to the wallet of your choice. Just make sure though, that when you're sending Bitcoin, you send to a Bitcoin address. And if it's Ethereum you're sending, you send that to an Ethereum address. If you send your funds to the incorrect address, you do risk losing them. So just double check everything. And withdrawing crypto used to be free of charge with Coinbase absorbing these costs. However, with the spike in transaction fees, you're now going to be charged a fee for sending crypto out of Coinbase Pro. But we've sold our Bitcoin for GBP. So let's select that now. And we then have the choice to either withdraw to a bank account 
or to our Coinbase account. With the UK bank transfer, you can see that there's zero fees and that the processing time is within a day. You also have the choice to send this back to your Coinbase.com account, where you could also withdraw to the likes of PayPal. So that concludes my Coinbase Pro tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.